To claim a majority in parliament, candidates supporting Mr. Macron will need to win at least 289 seats. Failing that, he has formed an alliance with the centrist democratic movement to help assure a majority. However, as things now stand, it appears all but certain that the 39-year-old president will have a majority and potentially a large one. Parties on the extreme right and left seem to be faring badly, gaining far fewer votes nationwide than they had in the first round of the presidential election on May 7. Pollsters said that Marine Le Pen's far-right national front would take about 14 percent of the vote, while Jean-Luc Mélenchon's leftist France Unvowed Party was expected to win just 11 percent of the votes. At the same time, the traditional parties on the left and the right have been weakened, with the socialists looking particularly feeble. Having controlled the parliament over the last five years, the socialists were expected to win just 10 percent of the vote this year. The Republicans fared better, with their projected 21 percent share the highest after Mr. Macron's party. Because of differences between the districts, nationwide vote totals do not translate into a set number of seats in the parliament. There are frequently runoffs with two, three or four candidates, since anyone taking more than 12.5 percent of the vote is eligible for the second round. Overall, however, the legislative elections appeared to have engendered less enthusiasm than both the presidential elections a few weeks ago and recent legislative elections. This year, according to exit polls, about 50 percent of eligible voters cast a ballot in the legislative elections, compared with 57 percent in 2012 and 60 percent in 2007. Whatever the outcome, what is most striking about this election is how a nation that a year ago seemed to be on the verge of being swept up in the right-wing populist and nationalist wave in Europe has instead given a white-armed embrace to Mr. Macron, a centrist and unabashed globalist who has called for weakening France's protective labor laws and potentially reducing some retirement benefits for some workers. The election if the majority of Mr. Macron's candidates win in the runoff, as it appears they will seems to reflect the voters' readiness to get on with his agenda. The French president needs a majority in the National Assembly, the French parliament, to pass legislation. With a strong showing for his party even in the first